Russian President Vladimir Putin is meeting with leaders from Central Asia in Kazakhstan today. And this summit comes amid an escalation in fighting in Ukraine and intensifying rhetoric over the potential use of nuclear weapons. NBC News Chief International Correspondent Keir Simmons joins us now with more. Good morning, Keir. Uh, so you have spoken exclusively with one of the summit's attendees and key Putin allies, the president of Belarus. What is he saying about this issue of, of nuclear weapons? Yeah, that's right. It's President Lukashenko. He is, as you rightly say, a key uh, Kremlin uh, ally and uh, strong man. Uh, he uh, meets with President Putin uh, fairly regularly. So to speak to him is to get a view of uh, President Putin's mindset. Now, you know, on the one hand, I think what he has to say uh, is somewhat reassuring because he seems to suggest that President Putin uh, would not easily use nuclear weapons, mm. but not reassuring for Ukraine and the West because he also appears to imply that there are other uh, air munitions that President Putin could use that would be, frankly, devastating. Take a listen. Do you think President Putin would use a nuclear weapon? If you put a person or a country into the corner, there is only one way out from there, to move forward. That's why you don't cross red lines. You cannot cross them. Within the last couple of days, Russia made strikes on Ukraine with high-precision weapons in response to the Crimean bridge attack. You probably noticed that it was powerful, but it's not everything. Russia, and I know this for sure, possesses the most modern weapons. And you don't need nuclear weapons. Russia will cope without nuclear weapons. Now, what he might be talking about there are Russian equivalents of B-52s, which Russia still has, or and other uh, missiles. Uh, but uh, for President uh, Lukashenko, of course, he is neighboring Russia and has supported Russia. He does go on to say that he wants to see peace. The, the fundamental problem, of course, is that there is such a divide between Ukraine and the West, which does not want to give up territory to Russia, and Russia that doesn't want to uh, give up on taking uh, that that territory. I think all of this does go to point to why it is that Ukraine is so asking for air defences so urgently and why the West is rushing to try to provide those air defences. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.